we have Future Science Art, which is the creation of living art forms. Yeah, talk about that. What do you mean living art form? We have Elliot's new book, Future Science Art. Elliot himself is a very talented creative art artist, not just a thinker. Well, talk about your art. Talk about the living art, the living act of creation, the way you work. When I was in my 20s or 30s, I decided to, to ask for inspiration from other dimensions, other realms. I was other uh, entities, whatever, mm -hmm. science fiction type people. Mm -hmm. So what happened was I started to create art forms and I decided that I would create at least a hundred art forms to create a critical mass of creating sculptures which were inspired from other sources. Uh -huh. And what happened was I started to create these things based around the technology I had. I taught myself how to weld, I use a plasma torch, I have different types of technology. I, in a sense it's modern alchemy. Uh -huh. I, I marry the flame, I put the spirit in from the heart that way, I use antique pieces of iron that I find with a metal detector and I, I put uh, beautiful art glass marbles and s crystal spheres in these uh -huh. and I, got, I came up with the idea, or it came to me, to make these living art forms, make them alive. Well, how? What makes them alive? The various components parts, you might think of it as a little uh, chamber orchestra. They okay. all resonate. And when you put them together in a certain configuration, they start to sing together. Or You mean the harmony of the forms yes. starts to resonate and you get um, an experience from that of your own wholeness, would you say? Well, interestingly, I've at this point in my life, I've never sold a piece. I've created over 200. <laughs> we however, are going to sell. However, Elliot is going to have a show in New York, and you'll be able to get to see <laughs> and buy all his beautiful, magical work. <laughs> I guarantee that. So, yeah, no, go ahead. And it doesn't matter. I don't think selling is as important as creating. Exactly. And yeah. this is the point. The whole, I decided long ago that. If you, if you as an artist, and I'm talking about anyone, can create something mm -hmm. and you look at it and say, man, that's really cool. If I saw that in a store, I'd want it. Yeah. That is all that really matters. Anything after that is icing on the cake. Now, it's nice when other people bond with an art piece. It is. But the, the point of future science art is that each piece, uh, I was inspired by the little cartoon movie, Pinocchio. Uh -huh. I call it the Pinocchio effect. Okay. And uh, Geppetto, the clockmaker, wanted a son. He and his wife wanted a son, and they couldn't have children, so he made a puppet. Mm. And ultimately, they wished on a on a the, uh, the fairy came. The good fairy came, and they wished on a star, and Pinocchio came became a real boy. At the end of the story, I bless each art form oh. at the end with and give it a signature, and I say, I give you life. Oh. And so they have a life of their own, and, and they broadcast out this little symphony, and at some point, they will bond with other people. Someone will come in and say, oh, you know, <laughs> it's like, that's, mm -hmm. that, I want that puppy. You know? So what I'm getting from what you're saying, the future art, or living art, is the um, imprinting of the divine emanations within that creation, so other people can access that realm of divinity and re have it reflect to them and have them realize themselves in those pieces. So you make a piece, you bless it, someone sees that and they feel an energetic awakening from having been in contact with that piece. Would that be a sort of way of understanding it? That was a beautiful way to express what I've been not so elegant. Well, you're the creator. <laughs> Take, you know, the, 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 those, there's those that then evaluate the creation or, or, or access what is the... The artist themselves doesn't know what they're trying to say. They are just inspired by the cosmos. I mean, they might have an idea, but it's the... What you're saying, the emanations is the expression and it's beyond the logical mind and awakens something in all of us. So. I mean, that's what I get from what you're saying. The you fact know. that you've got that yeah. makes me feel very, very uh, oh. special because 
the gift has been passed in that sense. Yeah, no, I get and what once it's been passed to one person, it will go on and be passed to others. Well, thank, no, I get what you're trying to say, yeah. and I think it's important.